comparison with Richard Nixon yesterday fell short in, in, in several ways. Richard Nixon actually was a product of this country and the government. He fought in World War II. He came home like all those other GIs. He, he fought, and, and the left didn't like him for it, but he fought against communist influence in America. And he dedicated himself. The man received more votes from, from Americans than anybody else in American history. And you know what? When the Supreme Court, Mike, and you remember this very well, the Supreme Court said, turn over the tapes. And everybody froze and said, are we going to have a standoff here? For Richard... Yeah, so uh, we're continuing with the liberal hissy fit this morning on MSNBC. They're, they're talking about comparing Donald Trump and Richard Nixon and saying that Richard Nixon was more of a patriot because he was a, a veteran and, and he fought communism in, in America. Yeah, he did fight communism in America. And if that's what makes him an American patriot, hey, great. Because you know what? Donald Trump supporters and Donald Trump is against communism in America. But the left, like MSNBC, continues to be for communism in America. And this is one situation and one topic that I am very, very passionate about. I believe that communism has no place in America. So anyway, there's there's another, another part of this deal that they're talking about on MSNBC is they're trying to relate or or twist a story around. You know how these false narratives come out where they, they just continue to feed off of each other's lives and bullcrap until they find a, a storyline that they can use. And then when they use that storyline, they just kind of stick to it and everybody else parrots off it. All the other mainstream media outlets. Yeah, well, that's what's happening this morning on MSNBC with this Morning Joe crew. They are trying to install this witness intimidation uh, storyline into the connection with obstruction of justice and the James Comey deal and, and the tapes and, and they're all relating it to Donald Trump's tweets. You know what? Uh, there have been several people that have said, you know, something Donald Trump needs to stop doing is that he needs to stop tweeting and uh, because he just gets his ass in trouble. But you know something? Donald Trump sees his connection to the average everyday person like me through social media, through rallies, and, and he feeds off of that. That's where he gains his energy because, because he got hired by the people to work for the people. And he, he doesn't have to be uh, Congress's puppet like other presidents. You know, he doesn't have to be the New World Order's puppet like other presidents. You know, I, I was going to do a a video series last year on um, the billionaire who went rogue and I, I posted a couple of videos and they got took down by YouTube and the ads were pulled from it I had ads at that time you know because the content was not advertiser friendly it didn't fit the right narrative you know and I think that a lot of times my videos uh, don't end up in the feed very well because of they didn't rank in the feed very well. Well, for one thing, I'm a very small channel. For another thing, I don't get that many views. But I think another reason why is the content sometimes. But anyway, it, that's a whole other story. How their algorithm works is, is, is a whole other story. And I, and I could just be imagining things. That is true. But the storyline this morning coming out on MSNBC, and you can bet your bottom dollar, they're going to parrot this over there on CNN. I don't watch CNN, they're crazy people over there. And I hate MSNBC too. Is they are trying to put this obstruction of justice with a witness intimidation tactic in this uh, in this deal with Donald Trump. So we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna watch and see the hateful rhetoric from the left as it progresses, as the days and weeks go on and Find what else they want to cry about. We'll see you guys later, man. My name is Johnny Jetrock. I got to get my day started.